Uh, welcome to uh, our mass basic, basic series on topology. Today we're going to talk about, a little bit about quotients. So. so if we're given a map going from a topological space X to a topological space Y, we can define the topology in Y as the, uh, we can find a quotient topology in Y as uh, a set in Y is open if and only if uh, the inverse, F inverse of that set in X is open. So this is just the strongest topology you can have while making F uh, continuous. If we have any additional open sets, uh, then the inverse will not be open, it won't be continuous, and if we have any, and it's also the maximum possible number. Any less, you, you can always add a few more such that make the O and Y open and F inverse will be open in X and it'll still be continuous. So it's the strongest topology uh, making F continuous. So a common concept in math, an equivalence relation, it's a relation that satisfies x is related to itself. If x is related to y, then y is related to x. And if x is related to y and uh, y is related to z, then x is related to z. Uh, equal signs is an example of this. If you, you know, take a circle and break it up into different parts, that's also an example. Equivalence relation being uh, two points are equivalent if they're in the same part. Uh, so given a set x, we can define an equivalence relation r. On x, we can find x, uh, x uh, divided by r, x dash r, as the set of subsets of x, such that uh, each each member of x uh, dash r is uh, represents all of the uh, an equivalent subset of x. So it, it represents a subset where each member of the subset is equivalent to every other member in the subset, and no other subsets. So uh, we can prove if we have a continuous map F going from a space X to a space Y, and an equivalent relation uh, such that uh, X1 is related to, equivalent to X2 whenever F, F of X1 equals F of X2. Uh, if, so we have all this, we can show we have a continuous map uh, from X uh, dash slash R to Y uh, defined by F of the equivalence class of uh, element X is equal to just f of x. And so we're going to give x dash r the uh, quotient topology from a map uh, x to x uh, slash r to show this. So we're going to find a map from x to the uh, x quotient r uh, by so map g by g of x equals the equivalence class of x. And then we're going to give uh, x quotient r the quotient topology. So g inverse x is going to be open if only if, uh, yeah, the equivalence class of x is going to be open if and only if g inverse uh, x is an open set in x. Uh, and then, so we're going to know for any open set O in Y, we have G inverse F prime inverse of O is equal to F uh, inverse of O. Uh, so you can draw a commuting diagram to show this. And uh, so since we gave uh, X quotient R the equivalence, the quotient topology, G inverse O is open if only if O is open. So if O is an open set, uh, the thing on the right is an open set, so the thing inside here must be an open set. And so we have uh, for o, uh, 
uh, open. F prime inverse O must be open. And so uh, that shows our, our map. Uh, F, F prime must be a continuous map. Uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, thanks for watching our topology videos. If you like these videos, please check out the, our other basic videos on our YouTube channel. Please check out CentralMath.org. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, thank you for watching.